Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tefty. Today we're making a beat. We got the OP1 hooked up to the analog heat from Electron. And then we also have the OPZ from Teenage Engineering. And I have the iPad hooked up so you can actually see the additional stuff that connects with the OPZ. Uh, it's a cool little device. Sometimes it can be a little difficult though to make it connect and work with other devices. So in this particular setup, I have the USB out of the OPZ going into the USB hub that I've connected to the MPC1, which you can see allows me to talk to the OPZ MIDI. And then I have the analog out of the OPZ going into my patch bay, which is then connected into some analog gear off to my side, which then gets routed to the mixer and or the inputs of the MPC-1. So that's the general routing that I have things set up. Let's get to it. So I think with this particular beat, I'm gonna rely on sampling out of the OPZ into the MPC-1 as opposed to using the sequencer in the OPZ. And I know the sequencer is one of the, the selling features of the OPZ, but for this particular jam, we're gonna treat the OPZ as like a sound source and see what type of stuff we can come up with it. Now what's interesting is all of the tracks are available to me. So like if I go to track five, should be bass. a bit on the loud side at the moment. So I got the bass track, I can do the lead, the arpeggio, yeah, and then the chord. Sounds really cool. The thing that I ran into when setting this up is that I was getting a ground loop hum out of the OPZ, which is really strange and it was only happening when it was connected to the USB connections and ports. So what I had to do was hook up a passive direct box where I could lift the ground out of it. And then I had to rebuild the gain. And that's why I ended up hooking it up into some analog gear off to my side, a compressor and like a, a saturator type of thing. But I digress. That's besides the point. We're here to make a beat right now. I guess we'll start out with some um, percussion, some kicks. Ooh, yeah. And the OPZ does have some great sounds to it. sure what I want to make. I think I'm going to sequence out of the MPC into that and then maybe I'll capture like a loop or something like that. Let's try it that way first. Let's see, we're currently at 97 BPM. Maybe we'll slow it down a bit. I don't know, 84, something like that. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below about your music production process. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, which in return helps this channel out. Thank you very much. So we have all tracks set up here for the sound sources. So we can kind of come up with something here. I think I want to put a little swing into it. Let's put uh, 55 on that. And maybe turn down the strength a bit, go 90. Let's see what we can come up with. Just that snare sound. We've got something. Get a different track for this. So samples go to number two. Ooh, yeah, more glitchy. Let's actually double up the uh, the track. Four bars officially. Now let's get some stuff. So again, everything is still coming out of just the OPZ into the mixing board. I'm just using the uh, MPC-1 as a sequencer at the moment. Do we want that sound or want something else? What's this? Mm, kind of gummy sounding. You know, maybe instead of bass, I should start with keys. Get some like harmony.
So the compressor that I have hooked into the OPZ right now is getting heavily triggered by the percussion, the kick and all that. So like this is getting affected differently, which might be the first sign that maybe we keep the, the percussion that's happening and then start tracking like the, the tonal stuff into the MP, uh, MPC. So here we can do with this arpeggio. Not liking that sound at all. What's this? Yikes. Here we go. Something a little more traditional plucky. Let's turn up the speed. Let's go with this. Not sure yet. Not sure what I'm liking. I'm gonna just try to lay something down and then get rid of it if I don't like it. That's at at the moment, but I like the tones that's happening with it. Maybe we just need to slow down. Let's go back to speed two. At least that feels understated. And yeah, I think we're gonna roll with that for now. Bice. Pressure that's on there is definitely getting hit <laughs> and getting some pumping going on, which at times sounds pretty cool. Uh, but we're definitely going to have to split out the tonal stuff. I just have to figure out what I want bass wise here. Ooh, kind of acoustic sounding bass. Cool, actually. Let's try some. Sounds pretty cool, but it definitely needs to be on its own track so it's not pumping so much. Let's hear these keys with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is make this eight bars. So let's double up. So we're officially on eight bars now, and I think I'm gonna do the looper to be able to trigger uh, a long or do the, the sample chop type of thing with the bass. We've got 16 bars in there, which is great. Turn down the input a little bit. I'm gonna to try to ride some settings when I record it to introduce some differences in the actual recording. So let's do that and roll with it. I 
export, 16 bars, keep, sample edit, base 16 bars, perfect. Gonna trim, go to regions, 16 regions, great. Shift, convert into a new drum program, thank you very much. Go to the main, and I guess we'll start with, maybe we'll copy it to over here. So these are the OPZ, and these are the sample chops, in case we have uh, some drums in there. So this will be uh, technically 13. So let's go to track 13. Bass chops program. Bass chops. Cool, so I'm just gonna sequence this real quick. So we got the bass chopped up. Now we need, let's go for the keys next. Looper, clear, arm. Keys, 12 bars. Thank you kindly. Keep, sample edit, shift, convert to a new drum program. Let's go to track 16, keys chopped. Yeah, that sounds cool. Now let's go back to this stuff. I don't know if I want the arpeggio or not. Let's hear what the arpeggio sounds like. Could do something like that. I'm really iffy about the arpeggio. Let's show the percussion back in. Let's get back to this lead. Lead, unmute. Try to record something. I feel like I overplayed. Maybe just single hits. As like texture, I think that works. Let's mute the percussion because we don't want to record that into the looper. Clear the looper, arm it, and record it. Export. We're going to call this, I guess, lead? It's not really a lead. Melody. Melody line, 12 bars, convert, do it. Guess I'll put this on track 14. Back to the mutes. Take out some of the low end on that. Let's go air filter. Let's change this to a high pass. High pass four? Why not? Drop it on down. Maybe a high pass two. Yeah, just a little bit of low end getting cut out of there. I think I'm gonna pause here 
and give it some thought because I'm not sure where I want to take this track yet. Yeah. All right. So I had taken a quick break. Uh, kind of, we actually got some dinner, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. Yeah. And then you had uh, worked on the melody idea for it, right? Yeah. It was a, again with these jams, very quick mm -hmm. uh, yeah. turnaround. But I really like this. It's another moody jam. Moody jam. That's yeah. right. Uh, one thing that I was missing that I didn't record was it, it needed like another uh, melody line that was like energy or not melody line, but just an energy line for the yeah. chorus. So I had actually made this that I'll play for you guys real quick. So this thing, it's like a, you know, it's like classic mm -hmm. keyboard, like playing in the chorus type of thing. Kind of feels a little sloppy it's here and there. Support there. Yeah. So that'll be going on. With like the whatever type of chorus yeah. thing that's going on, right? Yeah. I do like that bass. Yeah, the yeah. bass is cool, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, from the OPZ. Mm -hmm. So again, the drums are going to be coming off live out of the OPZ. We'll be messing with the master channel. There's a filter in there, so I can do a filter sweep. Effectively mute this stuff, so I can like filter sweep the percussion track if I want. Could even go up. Some cool textures there. Yeah, pretty cool textures, mm -hmm. right? And then when I add this stuff be able to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's try it that out. That frequency though. That <laughs> frequency? Cool. Let's do it. Was a cool jam. Yes, it that was. was fun. Yeah, really fun. Moody. Uh -huh. I love the vibe. Definitely moody, I love yeah. the filter sweeps that's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had two filter sweeps I was working with, and then the chorus drive from the OPZ that I could mess with. And between those two and the mutes, I actually had a surprising amount of control over the track. Mm -hmm. It was cool. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, and originally I wasn't quite sure about this beat. You know, and then I took a break, and then me and Suji yeah. came in and listened. You're like, oh, I have an idea, right? Yeah, I had a couple ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we trained them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always surprised at how some of these turn out, because, like, you know, I have no idea 
We, we, Same. we have no idea know. when we come into this, like <laughs> if we're going to have something by the end of uh, the recording. I and, think that's yeah. great, you know, being creative, you know? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the showing up process. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't always get something, but like the process of showing up helps you become better yeah, at the process for sure. overall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's the video. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's always fun to do the jam jams. Yes. Thank you very <laughs> much for watching. We really appreciate it. Thanks for going on the journey of the creative process with us. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel as well. Ring the notification bell, leave us a comment. It all helps with the algorithm, you know, share it on Facebook, all Twitter, things. all the things, you know? <laughs> yeah. And we've also been preparing that sample pack. We're very excited about it. More information about that will be coming pretty soon. That's it. That's it. We'll see you next time, guys. Deuces. Deuces.